are a middle-class Victorian woman who would kill to be a duchess. Fortunately, when your parents died, they left you with a small dowry and some land to get you started, but it's not nearly enough to attract a noble. So you'll have to come up with some crafty and perhaps lethal solutions, manipulating multiple husbands to gain wealth while also trying to maintain a good enough reputation to attract the Duke in Deadly Dowagers, which was designed by Sarah Ship with art by Mercedes Palacios and published by Tabletop Tycoon, who sponsored this video. Hi everyone, I'm Candace Harris from Board Game Geek. We've got some husbands to bury and coffers to fill. So let's get this game down to the table to go a little more in focus on Deadly Dowagers. Deadly Dowagers is a card drafting tableau building game for two to six players where you'll marry and kill off your husbands to collect inheritances and make investments to build your wealth in hopes to marry the Duke first and win the game. Each game is played over a series of rounds which is split into four phases and every phase is played simultaneously by all players. First there's a drafting phase where all players draw five cards from the main deck and then choose one card and pass the rest multiple times until all players have four new cards. In the investment phase, each player may play venture and land cards face up in their tableau. Land cards have beneficial effects such as farmland and mill cards that help you earn additional income when settling your accounts after one of your husbands dies. And there are estate cards that help you reduce your infamy. Some venture cards can be played to upgrade your land cards to make them even more advantageous, but the shipping cards are all about set collection for gaining more wealth. You can also play instant cards to gain more money and manipulate you and your opponent's infamy, as well as use special abilities on husband cards. In the husband phase, each player may play one cause of death card to kill their current husband, or one remarry card to marry a new husband if they don't already have one. In addition, you can take any one other husband phase action which doesn't require a card, such as killing a husband by strangling them, eloping to get married, or promoting a husband to increase the inheritance you'll gain when they die. Regardless if you play a remarry card or elope, when marrying working class husbands, you gain infamy, and to marry noble husbands, you have to meet an infamy requirement. Whenever one of your husbands dies from a cause of death card, or if you've strangled them, you'll gain infamy and collect the inheritance willed to you on your husband card, plus you'll gain money from cards in your tableau. Then you'll discard your venture cards and place your husband card face down in a graveyard pile next to your player board. Finally, in the housekeeping phase, each player discards down to three cards in their hand and you flip the draft rotation token to the other side so that you alternate which direction you pass cards each round during the drafting phase. You'll continue playing these phases round after round until the game ends when one player has no current husband no more than nine infamy, spends 120 crowns, and plays a remarry card to marry the duke and win the game. Deadly Dowagers is all about drafting the right cards to strategically build your tableau of land and venture cards that hopefully synergize well with your husband so that when you kill him off, you gain as much wealth as you can. With every decision you make, you also need to think about the risk versus reward of gaining more infamy. All this is happening on top of an exciting, intense race to have enough money and not too much infamy to marry the Duke first. If this sounds like a game you'd enjoy, you can order Deadly Dowagers from TabletopTycoon.com and be sure to check out its page on Board Game Geek. I'm Candace Harris from Board Game Geek and we just went and focused on Deadly Dowagers. Have a wonderful day.